Well, Luke, you've, uh, you've got a new man on the training pitch today. You've just had a, a rigorous sort of individual session with Dan Gosling. What have you made of his arrival? Well, you know, f first of all, the, the quality is, is obvious, you know, and uh, I think uh, he had one or two injury setbacks. Otherwise, I think it's impossible to have a player of that quality in League Two. So we're really pleased. We have to be so careful with him and help him to, to get properly fit and conditioned and then to understand, you know, the, the, the type of actions we like. But first impressions are extremely good and uh, we're delighted that he's with us. As you mentioned, yeah, fantastic pedigree. I don't think he's ever played anywhere lower than the championship. Um, given the nature of the, the short term nature of the deal, mm. how important do you think that sort of mental capacity and, and that experience is going to help him hopefully have an impact sooner rather than later here? Yeah, I think that's irreplaceable, that, that uh, type of, of experience that he has you just cannot you cannot get that without living through it so we're we're very fortunate with that and uh, we yeah we just need to we need to be careful to to not expose him to something that he's not ready for because uh, obviously didn't he didn't play uh, competitive this season yet so yeah he has incredible uh, experience and intelligence of football so we just have to manage him correctly the other thing we have to be careful about is something you alluded to in your previous interview which was nobody's going to replace Matt Palmer like for like so do you see him playing in the in the similar role do you think he's got similar qualities yeah i think i think for sure we we'll, we'll see him at some point in that in that in that role but yeah uh, as i said uh, it's unfair to to expect anybody to be exactly the same all the players are unique and we will we will try to you know to, to simulate many of the actions and they will look different and he has a different set of quality but he's a fantastic player we 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 lost a fantastic player and we replaced with with one so yeah going to be it's going to be different but with a very similar characteristics i'm sure we've enjoyed watching you prepare the team today for the EFL trophy tie at Lincoln um, what's the mindset going into that one obviously a win could well see us into the knockouts well, I hope that from your comment, I hope you 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 watched uh, a head coach and staff that are preparing thoroughly the game, and uh, the the focus of the players is there. I hope you can see that from observing the session. Um, so the aim is to try to make a really good performance and win, um, as, as always. And I think uh, certainly we are we are not doing we're not cutting any corners with the preparation. That's for sure. Not cutting any corners with uh, some of the lads recovering from injury, the John Bostock, Adam Chickson going through a rigorous running session. It looks like Richard Brindley and Junior Marias are a little further ahead as well, so plenty to be uh, positive about. Yeah, absolutely. Guys there that you mentioned with very, very good attitudes towards their, their profession, and uh, that's, the, that's the biggest thing. So I'm really happy seeing them getting closer to, to the team, and uh, I think I would say... Uh, two of those players are going to be involved in, in probably tomorrow's game and, and two will be involved in the very near future because we start to be more confident about their return to play because of the amount of stuff that they're doing on the grass now. So we'll be on the first stage with certainly with John and uh, Adam Chickson. So that's brilliant. Finally, Shrewsbury Town in round two, the draw was yesterday. That should be a really, really interesting test, shouldn't it? Yeah, we had a brilliant game with them in pre-season. They were, they were outstanding, I thought, in in aspects of of their, their play and uh, we know they're going to be a very tough team but um, we're, we're pleased to be in the hat, we're in the draw and uh, we have to now try to make a really good performance against the team from the, from the division above and we can do that so we look forward to it.